Lucenda Community Rewards Program helps AAUW's Tech Track to offer this camp for 60 girls from all over New Mexico every year, all with a focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering, or math, at a cost to the family of only $50 each because of the generous donations from organizations around the state like Nusenda. Nusenda Credit Union, the power of we. Visit Nusenda.org to learn how community rewards is impacting communities. Federally insured by NCUA. It's a new episode of Student Athlete Spotlight. We are presented by Nusenda Credit Union. Adam Young joined by volleyball star Leah Mosher here today. Leah, thanks for joining us. How was your off season? Uh, it was good. It was, you know, it's kind of short because we did just have season in the spring, so it hasn't been much of an off season really. But uh, so far, meeting all the new people, it's it's been a great time. Last year in the fall, there was so much uncertainty. This year, it seems like you know what's about to go on. Does that help you try to focus on the task ahead? Oh, absolutely. I mean, last year was just weird because we never really knew what was going to happen. At the beginning, we didn't know where we'd be practicing. Um, we didn't get to play all but one home game. So this year, we're really looking forward to finally be like, being able to play here. And um, yeah, so it is nice knowing what's coming. It was a good season for the team, 16-2, and two, a great season for you individually, all conference, all region, uh, WAC tourney, all tournament team as well. Did you feel like it was a breakout year for you individually? Um, yeah, I did feel like that. And I, I think the reason is um, we had lost Megan Hart and Juliana Salanoa, and so there was big shoes to fill. And so I, I think um, I just saw that as an opportunity to take, and I, I think I'm still on my way up. 16-2, and two, great record, but you fall short of the ultimate goal, which is to win the, the tournament. Is that motivation going into this year? Absolutely. That game was such a stinger. Even thinking about it, just, just uh, it stings. So yeah, absolutely uh, going to drive us to you know work hard in practice and just get there again. In normal years, you play some matches in the spring, but you don't play 18 matches in the spring. Full spring season, now you go into the fall. Did that change your preparation in the off season? Um, not really. I think. I think that season was, was great for us to play. We were all really excited to play, being that we didn't get to in the fall. And so it kind of made our off season, like I said, like a little bit shorter. Um, and it's, it hasn't been like too crazy or anything, but yeah, it definitely did make it a little bit different. Numbers wise, when you're done here, you'll leave as one of the best blockers in school history. What makes a great blocker to you? Um, I think what makes a great blocker is your IQ. Um, coming here, you know, I didn't play much club or anything like that, and so I had almost zero volleyball IQ. And so just learning to know what you're looking for, uh, scouting ahead of time, knowing who you want to like prioritize, I think that is what makes a best like a great blocker um, aside from you know technical stuff. You didn't play much club because you played three sports in high school, basketball, volleyball, softball. Being a, a three sport athlete, did that help you in college playing just volleyball? Uh, absolutely. I think um, being like versatile, I got to you know play all these sports and learn all these different things, especially like, you know, about uh, being a good teammate and stuff like that. Um, also, I feel that I never got burnt out of volleyball. Like, I, I kind of see some people that I played club with, like, because I played a little bit, but not much. And I see some of them getting burnt out, and they're just like, oh, I'm kind of tired of it. I've been doing it since I was like 10, but I never got that because I just didn't play that long. You joined the softball team briefly here. Do you miss that sport in particular? Yes. Um, coming out of high school, or in high school, I really wanted to focus on softball, but it just wasn't as big of a future for me as volleyball would have been. So I think volleyball was definitely the right direction for me. You're from Rio Doso, so you're in state. Was the dream to always play for the Aggies? And does this mean a little more to you? Uh, to be honest with you, in high school, we didn't have a great recruiting process, and I had no idea where I wanted to go, nothing like that. But um, I came to a couple of camps here, and I knew Ben and Rubio. And so um, they kind of hooked me in, and I, I loved them as coaches, and then MJ's a great coach. And so um, it ended up being perfect, and being close to home is such a blessing. Like, it's not too close that I see all the same people I know from high school, but it's close enough to like my, my family can yeah. come watch, and a couple of my buddies, and it's, it's awesome. Lastly, Leah, this is Student Athlete Spotlight. So tell us about your major. Uh, so I'm actually majoring in secondary education with a focus on history, uh, social studies. But um, as I started doing some of my practicum when I was in the schools, I wasn't in love with it the way I thought I would be. Um, so I'm, act I'm actually picking up a minor in psychology, and I plan on uh, focusing on that moving forward in the future. I'm probably getting a master's in psychology. I'm not totally sure what I want to do. I really am interested in sports psychology. So we'll see. I'm still figuring it out. Leah, thanks for joining us. Good luck this yeah, season. Of course, thank you so much. That's Leah Mosher. This is Student Athlete Spotlight presented by Nusenda Credit Union.